Welcome back. In today's Health Watch, we are talking about blood pressure, specifically in women. A new study finds women's blood pressure begins to increase earlier and at a faster rate than that of men. So joining me right now to talk a little bit more about this, Dr. Margaret Holland, a family physician. Um, and, you know, this is really a groundbreaking study, particularly with women. Yeah, so what we're finding is that women tend to develop blood pressure earlier and the rate of their blood pressure goes up faster than it does in men. So it's really important for women to get into their doctor to be checked for blood pressure earlier. And I think I was reading that this study found that women's blood pressure can start elevating as early as their 20s. When should you really be going in to get those regular kind of checkups? So, you know, throughout your childhood, seeing a pediatrician regularly is a good idea, especially if you have family history of blood pressure. You should probably get in into an adult physician, probably in your early 20s if you can. And, you know, we're talking about this. What, what is the concern with high blood pressure and why is it something that needs to be monitored so closely? So if your blood pressure is elevated and it is for a long period of time, you can start having damage to some of the organs of your body. The main ones are your heart, your kidneys, your brain, and your vasculature, which can lead to things like heart disease and strokes. Tell me a little bit about what some of, you know, I was, when I was reading about this the other night, I know that uh, for many people, um, blood pressure, high blood pressure, it's known as kind of a silent killer because there's not always symptoms, but sometimes there are. Can you talk a little bit about those? As you said, a lot of patients experience no symptoms, so blood pressure will be high and they don't even know it. But in other patients, they can tell. The main one I hear is headaches, tension headaches, eye pain, blurry vision, maybe dizziness. Those are the main symptoms. And what is the connection between blood pressure and cardiovascular disease? Because I also know this study could have implications in terms of diagnosis for women and cardiovascular disease. Mm -hmm. So if you're undiagnosed with high blood pressure and you have it for a long time, it starts taking its toll on your body, particularly the heart. The heart has to work harder to pump against you know, a high blood pressure. And so without treatment, your heart starts to give out, and so that's when you develop the cardiac disease. So out of this new study, what would you say is the biggest takeaway that you would want your patients to know? The biggest thing I want them to know is that, you know, make sure you're staying up to date with your physicals and seeing your doctor. Women are at an advantage because we're used to seeing the doctor. We're mm -hmm. used to seeing the gynecologist and the dentist, and so we're being seen. But what happens is that the gynecologist, your blood pressure is elevated, and then you don't follow up. You right. just tend to ignore it. So yeah. The important thing is to stay on top of it. I think women are very guilty of putting their health on the back burner. They're worried about their kids, their family, and, and it just tends to be swept aside to where you're not thinking about it. In terms of what you can do to, to lower your blood pressure, I know medication is out there, but what can you do mm -hmm. beyond medication? So we recommend a variety of things, lifestyle factors mainly. So eating a heart-healthy diet, getting regular exercise, not smoking, moderate amount of alcohol, those are the best things that you can do to maintain a low blood pressure. How do you think that this new study and the results will change the way that women are monitored and diagnosed? I think what we're learning is that women are different than men, so there's not a one-size-fits-all to treatment for patients. So we really need to cater our treatment and our diagnosis to um, the patient specifically. Awesome. Dr. Holland, thank you so much. Some really good information there. Really appreciate you taking the time to be here this afternoon. Thank you. All right, Russ, we'll send things back over to you.